Now, we have been following for more updates as search for survivors continue across Turkey and Syria. But let's turn now to what happened underneath Turkey that set these deadly events in motion. For more on this, we heard from Martin Mai. He is a professor of geophysics at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. Here's what he had to say about what actually caused those two quakes. The earthquake happened on a plate boundary. So the earth is made of, up, uh, by tectonic plates and there's move by centimeters per year. That movement is driven by deep processes inside the earth. And uh, as these plates move, they get stuck um, between each other once in a while. And uh, that stress that builds up has to be released. And that is the earthquake that, that happened today or these earthquakes that happened today. So there are two plates, you're saying, that have come to a point where there is a lot of stress and that stress just has to be released. Precisely, precisely. So in this particular area, we have the, uh, the Arabian plate moving sort of northwards. We have part of the what we call the Turkey micro, micro plate moving westwards and then um, the Eurasian plate further north. And so the East Anatolian fault is the plate boundary between the Arabian and the Turkish microplate. And that got stuck over the last centuries, uh, but the deep motion continued. And so that's the stress buildup, as you described it, that causes the earthquakes. So the last time there was one this strong, we're hearing, was back in 1939 with this type of death toll. Is this something that happens in uh, every certain amount of years? Um, yes and no. So mm -hmm. the, the 1939 earthquake was not on that fault system. That was on a North Anatolian fault, which is up north in Turkey. This earthquake, or these earthquakes of today, they happen on an East Anatolian fault zone. This moves by maybe one or two centimeters per year. I'm, I'm roughly speculating. And the North Anatolian fault moves typically faster, three to five centimeters per year. Um, so this earth, these earthquakes today are off about the same size as 1939, but they are associated to different tectonic um, plate boundary. Is there any way we could have predicted this would have happened? No. 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 Earthquakes are not predictable. Very unfortunately not. Um, and in the 1970s, 1980s, there was great uh, hope in the community that earthquakes would be predictable. Mm -hmm. um, but those hopes were shattered in subsequent years and decades. And as of now, we say we cannot predict earthquakes. We cannot prevent earthquakes. They will happen. They have to happen because of the deep motions inside the Earth. The only thing we can do is to prepare for earthquakes. That means that we build our buildings in safe ways, you know, in the seismic, seismic safe designs, that we have mitigation plans uh, that we can act upon, and that, you know, society and politics and all stakeholders work together to prepare communities to be resilient. And so there's no prediction, there's no prevention, there's only preparation. Now, there are more than 100 aftershocks plus a magnitude 7.5 earthquake that hit 12 hours. We were discussing this after the first one. Is that considered mm -hmm. an aftershock or is that considered a separate earthquake? Yeah, th th that's an excellent question. It's actually quite a technical question. Um, the initial Mm, opinion of most uh, seismologists would be that it, indeed it's an aftershock. However, this earthquake, the second earthquake, occurred on a separate geological structure than the main earthquake or the first earthquake, I should say. Um, and it uh, occurred quite far away from the main rupture plane or the first rupture plane. And so and my personal interpretation currently is that the second earthquake is triggered by the first earthquake due to what we call um, stress transfer. So it, in my opinion, it's not precisely an aftershock. Um, but again, this is a technical debate that will happen in our seismological community in the weeks and months to come.